yeah, now we will add, when you press the wrong button in the code, an error sound will play off. So I'm gonna make a new entity called Ambient a Generic. There it is. Uh, press apply. You wanna name it, so I'm gonna name it to Keypad Error. Press apply. Sound name, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna browse. Uh, make sure you have sound time uh, game sounds. Raw is the sound you have in your construct source folder. Damn, that's many sounds. Uh, I don't, not sure what scenes are. That's a new thing. Haven't been there before. Uh, you're gonna sound name. No filter. I mean, we're gonna have button. And I think button ten. Okay. Uh, if you press select a button then pre press preview you're gonna hear it. Uh, I can choose button 11 so press OK uh, volume I think 10 is OK I don't think you have to change anything don't play everywhere I think that's no so yeah press apply I think that's quite good um, you may want to place it at the keypad, I don't know if it does help or anything but yeah, now we're going to you know outputs and when you press the wrong button uh, which is case 1, which is reset so we're going to add on case 1 because when you press the wrong button you will play the sound case 1 um, keypad error play sound apply we're also gonna add a sound when you press the right when you enter the full code right. So then we're gonna add a new ambient generic. This time I'm gonna name it to keypad uh, open or access or open or activate or anything. It doesn't really matter. Uh, sound name. I don't really know what to browse for here. Um, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna take one free. I just open yourself. So press OK, and like before, don't change anything. Just keep it open. Uh, now. When you press the right code, uh, that is case 5, as you can see, A to activate. So we will add to add, uh, add on case 5, we will add. Whoops. On case 5, keypad open, yes. Play sound. Apply. Okay. So that's uh, the sounds. Okay, so now we will add the last thing to make this keypad look really realistic. You see the screen right here? We're gonna change how it looks when you press either the wrong button or the right button. If you press the wrong button in the code, an error sign will flash error back to normal, error back to normal, error back to normal. If you press the right button in the code, if you fill in the right code, uh, access. Uh, the, it will just stay access on the, on the yeah on the f uh, panel there. Okay, so if you go in on the little prop here, we're gonna name it. So I'm gonna name it to keypad prop, and we're also gonna take a look on the skins. Th this you do by going to world model and press browse. M if you already have taken the uh, s uh, the keypad as a model, it should start up immediately. If you go into skins, you can see there are three skins right here. Skin 0, which is this, skin 1, which is axis, and skin 2, which is error. So yeah, just remember that. And now we can close this down. Now we're going to go in on the logic case. Okay, so as you can see, case 1 is reset, so the error sign will be bound to case... Oh, uh, the, the error... Uh, screen will be bound to case 1 and activate is on case 5 so that will be the access sign okay 
So we're gonna take add on case one, keypad prop, skin. Then we're gonna take in skin two because this is skin. And that's the error skin. So now we're gonna copy this and we're gonna do it like this. And to make this thing flash, we're gonna paste it in again. And so now we have two, but we're gonna change this. We're gonna change so it is uh, the skin zero should so back to default after 1.2 seconds. Copy this, paste it in. Change it to so it is error screen in after 1.4 seconds. Copy this, paste it in. Change it so it back to normal after 1.6 seconds. Uh, paste it in again and change it to error after 1.8 copy paste in change it back to normal in one second after one second so now it will flash so you, if you don't understand this well first it will go to the error sign or the error skin then it will go back to normal after 1.2 seconds then we go back to error after 1.4 back to normal 1.6 Back to error 1.8, back to normal 1. Or I mean 0 0.24 and 6 and 8. Yeah, sorry about that. I said wrong. I'm human. Oh my god, no way. Okay, now we're gonna add another one. Now we're gonna add the access sign. And like this sign, I will just make it so it says error. No access, I mean, sorry. And doesn't go back and forth. It will just stay. Um, it will stay access and access is one, but you also need to turn the access off. So we're gonna do that after one second. Now we're gonna take in two seconds. So first I added skin one after the delay of no zero seconds. So immediately when you fill in the right code, the access sign will show up. Then on skin two or the second skin on case five, you're gonna take in skin. Uh, you're gonna take in skin and then zero after one second. Now it will stay access and then go back to um yeah go back to normal. Okay, 